Hello everyone and welcome back. Well, as 2020 winds down, everyone is talking, or most people who watch the news, observe things, are talking about their top 10 list for the top 10 news stories of 2020. And I'm no different. I have went back throughout the year and looked back and determined these are what I consider to be the most important news stories or events from the year. I've compiled a list of nine. I haven't determined what I want to put in the tenth place, or I might move some up and down a little bit, but here is the nine stories I have so far. So, Mideast peace deals. Um, the deals that Israel has signed... Uh, with some of its Arab neighbors um, and other developments in the broader Middle East. Um, these deals were unthinkable uh, just a few years ago um, and are one of the few spots where the Trump administration has had some success in foreign policy um, and were huge developments on the Middle East uh, peace front. So uh, a big deal. Uh, to say the least. So so these Mideast peace deals are significant uh, and something that should be acknowledged as a success for the Trump administration. Um, another thing uh, that is a big uh, news story um, is Trump's IG purge. Um, all these inspectors generals across the government uh, that Trump has fired or... Um, forced out in other ways, uh, is a very concerning trend um, and has happened all year, uh, usually on a Friday afternoon uh, when other news stories are uh, blotting out the sun. But these are big deals um, and something that has across, happened across the government um, in 2020. And it really began in 2019. So, uh, a very big norm-breaking uh, decision by the Trump administration. Uh, the Supreme Court's ruling on LGBTQ rights uh, in the summer, where they ruled uh, that you could not discriminate against someone because of their sexual orientation. Um, in my opinion, this is as big a ruling as Orgenthal uh, versus Ohio. This is a huge deal uh, because now um, you cannot be fired for who you are. Um, whereas Lawrence v. Jordan uh, legalized same-sex relations across the country, this legalized people being able to be who they are, uh, not being able to be fired for that, um, and, and keep meaningful employment. Uh, so this is a this is a, a big big deal uh, and an important uh, moment in the struggle for equality. Um, the impeachment trial. Um, Donald Trump is only the third president in American history to be impeached by the House of Representatives and face trial in the Senate. Like the other two presidents, he was acquitted, uh, but it is a huge deal and a huge moment. And a fact that will go with Donald Trump forever. It will be one of the first things mentioned uh, when he passes on. Is that Donald Trump was a president who was impeached. Um, and it is a huge deal. And probably would be higher on the list. If for not further developments later on in the year that we will discuss. RBG's death in September, um, and the Amy Coney Barrett confirmation. Um, RBG dies, and Amy Coney Barrett is nominated and takes a position on the Supreme Court in a little under a month. It is remarkable how quickly you go from RBG's death uh, to Coney Barrett not only being named, but being confirmed. Um, and the how quickly and how smoothly the Republicans really just kind of pushed her 
uh, confirmation through um, really a dramatic, uh, dramatic events uh, that I, I, I don't think uh, we fully appreciate uh, just how norm breaking it was uh, just yet. Um, because I always thought that if, if Donald Trump had replaced Ruth Bader Ginsburg on the Supreme Court, uh, that the fights that we saw during uh, Kavanaugh and uh, Gorsuch would look like child's play. Now, obviously, um, this was limited by another story that we're going to talk about. Um, but um, dramatically, a um, huge event in the history of the country. Um, and now we're into the real nitty-gritty. The top four. Climate change and the dramatic rise in awareness of this issue. In January, we had the wildfires in Australia that were just absolutely devastating uh, to the Australian continent and were just massive in size, scope, and loss. Uh, they brought firefighters in to fight that fire from California, from the United States of America, to the Australian continent. I mean, that is how devastating these fires were. Uh, and probably would be one of the higher ranked stories, if not for what's number one. Um, this year really raised the awareness of how dramatic uh, we had shifted into probably the point of no return um, on this issue. Uh, you also had uh, the wildfires in the American Southwest and American West this year. Uh, just huge, massive wildfires in terms of size, scope, damage, and destruction uh, across the American West this year. The number three story. This is a umbrella. Ahmaud Opry. George Floyd. Breonna Taylor, and countless others, Black Lives Matter. The video deaths of Ahmaud Aubrey and George Floyd galvanized an issue to the forefront of American consciousness like I, nothing I have ever seen. The two deaths were horrifying and troubling to watch and brought to life an issue for a lot of Americans that most Amer white Americans honestly didn't want to touch. And it was the dramatic number of African American, mostly men, who die at the hands of police officers unarmed, or die at the hands of others in an unarmed situation. It was dramatic, and it was very troubling. George Floyd was the obviously the hand death at the hands of a police officer when he was unarmed, and it was just shocking to watch that video. Ahmaud Aubrey was a man that was jogging through a neighborhood and was chased down in a vehicle by two racist thugs who shot and killed him in the middle of a street in cold blood and walked free for almost two months after the shooting. Absolutely sickening. Just a horrifying uh, incident. And the um, public response to this was amazing to watch. You had Black Lives Matter protests and marches across the country and in cities big and small. And although a few of them um, were disrupted by scenes of violence, 98% of them were very peaceful protest in a time of unprecedented challenges. The second biggest story of the year. And this captures everything. The primary process, the post-election chaos, and the actual day itself, the 2020 election, between the incumbent Republican President Donald Trump and the Democratic challenger Joe Biden. 
Of course, we all know who won. That was Joe Biden. He will become president on January 20th. But the whole year, this how the election changed in an instant by the impact of number one is dramatic. And number one, obviously, is COVID-19. COVID-19 changed everything with 2020. And really, the entire world. It s slowed down and put a economies to a halt. It put people in their home and introduced us to new phrases like social distancing. We all began to wear, or all should have began to wear masks and all other host of things that people thought <laughs> would have been utter worldly just a year ago are now commonplace. Major museums, major sporting events that were either canceled or delayed. Major staples of life rounded to a halt or were upended. COVID-19 changed everything and had an effect on every aspect of life around the world. There's not a person who's living on planet Earth right now that has not been affected by COVID-19 in some way. That's my thoughts on the top 10 stories of 2020. I still haven't decided what number 10 is. I have an ideal. I'm bantering it around my head, but I want to see what plays out over the last few days of 2020 before I really make my final call. I'll let you know if I do. But, so far, that's my list.